Hey everyone, so I am coming to you for my April 2016 releases video. Now in these videos I'm still gonna try and keep it to like about five books and I want to talk about books that are not um, really big sequels that everybody already knows about and is already anticipating. I'm trying to bring out um, newer books, maybe debut books by new authors, or just books that are kind of lesser known that I would like to see a lot of people reading. But of course some of the big books, in case you were curious, are The Raven King. This is the final book in The Raven Quartet by Maddie Stiefvater. This comes out on April 26th. No explanation needed for that one, just beyond excited for that. There is also The Rose and the Dagger, and this is the sequel to The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier, and this also comes out on April 26th. Also really excited for this one. And there's also A Light, and this is by Scott Sigler. This is the sequel to Alive. I don't know how many people read that book, but I am most certainly excited for this book because Alive kept me on my toes from beginning to end. Um, this comes out on April 5th, so really soon, and I am really excited to get my hands on it. So anyway, getting into the standalones or new releases or just interesting sounding books, these are the five books that I am most anticipating in the month of April. The first book that I want to talk about is The Star-Touched Queen. This is by Roshani Chachki? No clue how to say that. Um, first off, this is kind of a little miscellaneous thing. Doesn't this look just like Walk the Earth a Stranger? I just think we're starting to get very similar covers. I love this cover, don't get me wrong. I really like um, really big typography on books, but it's just starting to all look the same as far as like adult fantasy type stuff. Anyway, this book comes out on April 26th and it just sounds really good. I think this is gonna be one of the more hyped books um, of April. I'm starting to see a lot about it already. But this book is about a 16 year old named Maya who is the daughter of the Raja. Um, and she is plagued with a horoscope that promises a marriage of death and destruction. So clearly she has some stigma following her around that the kingdom is not very happy about, but her father decides to marry her off in a political kind of peace treaty type thing to this prince of another kingdom. And she didn't really anticipate herself being in that situation, but tries to make the best of it. She actually starts to form a really good friendship with this husband of hers, and at the same time starts to unravel some really dark secrets and mysteries in that kingdom and about herself and about fate and destiny. It just sounds like an all around really enjoyable story that seems like it probably has a lot of depth to it and a lot of character and hopefully world development going on. But again, this comes out on April 26th and it just sounds really intriguing. The next book I want to talk about is one that I feel like is not going to be very well known, but it seems really intriguing to me. This is Unicorn Tracks by Julia Ember. This comes out on April 21st. And first of all, I love the cover. I love any covers that look like a painting. I just, I like the artistic aspect of it. Um, this book sounds very, very intriguing. It has a lot of African influence. It's pretty much about a girl, no clue how to say her name. Um, Nemba, maybe? Menemba? I don't know. Um, she pretty much gets hired on as a tour guide in an African safari situation that has mythical creatures in it. I'm sold right there. Mythical creatures is something I will always read about. She ends up getting employed by a man and his daughter, who is her same age, um, to give a tour. And on this tour, I believe they kind of discover unicorn poachers. And this sets them off on an adventure, obviously, to track down the poachers. And over the course of this adventure that they are on, the two girls start to fall for each other. So this is going to be an LGBT book that I am pretty intrigued by because there's not that many female-female um, books out there right now. I appreciate a lot of um, gay influences coming into books, but there still isn't that much female perspective yet. So I am really intrigued by this book. I mean, mythological creatures and... I mean, LGBT book, all of these things sound great. And this comes out on April 21st. The next book I want to talk about is Tell the Wind and Fire. And this is by Sarah Rees Brennan. And she is kind of an author that pops up a lot in YA. I've ne personally never read anything by her, but I think she's got a lot of hype surrounding her. This book comes out on April 5th, so fairly soon. Um, this is supposed to be a retelling of A Tale of Two Cities. So a lot of Dickens influence in this book. Um, which is kind of intriguing because that's not something that is really touched on in YA. But this is about a city that is divided between a light side and a dark side. The light side is all fame and luxury and the dark side is kind of, well, the dark side. I think there's a lot of crime and a lot of poverty. And this story is about a girl who is born in the dark side 
I think there's gonna be a love triangle just from the synopsis that I'm reading and she starts to uncover secrets and I'm assuming she's probably going to delve into the secrets of the light side of the city. I'm just really intrigued to see how Dickens is done in YA. But again, this comes out on April 5th, so who knows? The next book in April that I am excited about is The Haters, and this is by Jesse Andrews. Jesse Andrews wrote me and Earl and the Dying Girl, and that is the only book that he's come out with, and it is one of the most loved books in the YA community, so everybody has been anticipating another book by him. And this book just sounds very similar, very quirky and funny and probably heart-wrenching just because he's really good at throwing comedy into really dark situations. This is about a trio of teenagers who escape jazz camp because they think it's way too boring and decide to go on a road trip and tour with their makeshift band. And that just sounds great. It sounds like a really enjoyable summer springtime read because it's probably going to be a contemporary. There's probably going to be some dark paths, I'm assuming, just because he's very good at writing that. Um, and I just love the cover. I love covers like this where they're just very simple and straightforward. So this comes out on April 5th. April 5th is a really big day for releases, apparently also April 26th. Apparently it's the beginning of the month and the end of the month for releases. The fifth book that is being released in April that I want to talk about is Dreamers Often Lie, and this is by Jacqueline West. This also comes out on April 5th, go figure. This book just sounds so intriguing to me. It's about a girl who has a really bad ski accident and wakes up with like a fractured skull, um, and she is determined to kind of get back into her normal high school life, and she is in the drama club and in A Midsummer Night's Dream, and she's just determined to move on with her life and just be a normal teenager again. But she is having issues with um, delusions and hallucinations. She's having a very hard time struggling between what's real in her life and what are actually Shakespearean scenes and Shakespearean characters. And when a real life Romeo shows up and she starts to fall for him, um, she has to figure out whether he's real or what she needs to tell people. It just seems like one of those books that is right up my alley. I love books where the narrator is kind of unreliable and you can't really tell what's reality and what's in their head. And I just love books like that. They keep me um, guessing the entire time. And I just am so excited for this book. It comes out on April 5th. And guess who's going to the bookstore on April 5th? This person. So that's going to be it for my April releases. Um, if any of you guys have heard more about these books, please leave your thoughts in the comments. If any of you have gotten arcs of these books, please let me know what you think of them because that would be exciting. So I hope you guys are reading some amazing books and I will see you guys next time.